Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 21st, 2021. Well, holy cow, those bulls really came out yesterday, triggering a major short squeeze. Um, this whipsaw is amazing in the market. Left anyone short um, in the market, squealing from the feeling as they squeezed this market right back up into price resistance levels. And now we face a kind of an interesting day approaching price resistance levels. The bulls continuing to try and push us higher. What does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle into our office chairs, maybe grab an adult beverage with this kind of wild roller coaster ride, and let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. My goodness, um, it's a little bit difficult to discern what the market wants to do here with these big emotional swings that we've seen in the market. The Delta variant, that is supposedly what created the big fear sell-off, um, suddenly seems to have gone away. No one seems to care, even though the news on the Delta variant is continuing to worsen. Interesting. Um, what an amazing couple of days here in this ugly whipsaw. Now, I will tell you, I want to remind everyone, I've got some history on this. Back in 2008, if you guys remember, there was a period of time that the market moved an average of 500 points. The Dow moved an average of 500 points every single day for the course of a month. And what that was was kind of that indication that we that we were topping. Um, it ended up being a, a, a tremendous top. Now, I can't say that's what's happening here, but this volatility spike is a little bit reminiscent of that. And I want to caution everyone to be kind of careful because you can get so caught up in the emotion of this. But I think everyone would have to admit when we swing 900 points one day and 700 points the next in opposite directions, there's not a whole lot of edge that you can maintain in the market with that kind of an emotional swing. We need this to settle down a little bit before we can make some sense out of this price action. So let's take a look at the technicals of these charts and see if we can gain a little bit of information and watch um, and, and decide how we might want to try and approach today. First off, let's take a look at the Dow. Um, if I were to drop some lines in here, notice that we have a little bit of a price resistance level right there in the chart. And if that doesn't hold as resistance, we have price resistance right here in the chart. And if that doesn't hold as resistance, we have price resistance right here in this chart. So one of the things I want to caution on is as we approach these price resistance levels, we want to remember that bears are still out there and they may still be lining up in defense to kind of push things back. Can't say that that's true, but we should be prepared for that. Remember, chasing or buying a market right at price resistance can be a little bit dangerous because of that potential of a pop and drop. And what I mean by that is we gap up in the morning and then those bears surge right back in, pushing the market down. And from this extended position, just kind of keep in mind um, moving this many points in one day, there's a lot of risk to a stop loss in a move like that. So consider that carefully and be a little bit cautious about just chasing in to the market. Now, I understand there's an awful lot of data out there. There's a lot of, of um, emotion out there as we enter this earnings season. But be think really carefully about the risk that you might be taking. This is a highly emotional market with a lot of risk. We need this to calm down a little bit. Now, it's wonderful that we push back up in the Dow above the 50-day moving average, but here's what we need. We need actual proof after pushing back up. Notice that that 50-day moving average is flattened out. We need actual proof that now that we're back up here, we can hold 
that 50 day moving average is support. We have all seen a lot of failure patterns in the market where we push back above the 50, push back above, but then show an inability to hold that as support. And that's where some major selling can come in. I'm not saying that that's going to occur. I'm just saying we have to guard ourselves to be careful about rushing in emotionally and getting trapped in a major um, whipsaw that could move us right back down. So watch that closely. Now, I don't want to predict any kind of pop and drop. As a matter of fact, if, if the bulls have the energy, we might actually hold up here and continue to push to the upside. And with earnings, anything is possible. You know, as we run into these earnings reports, we could certainly find that inspiration to move on higher. So um, just be a little bit careful, be very choosy about the trades that you take, make sure your risk is controlled. Let's take a look at the SPY. I should say controlled to the best of your ability because when we swing these kind of points, um, in the market, there's not a whole lot of control we can exercise as um, retail traders. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now, SPY has a similar situation. Remember, we had this trend right here and we broke that trend. And now we are right up here testing the underneath side of that trend. And we happen to be testing that trend right at a conjunction of some price resistance in the chart. Now, if we can push on through that, we ha still have additional levels of price resistance up here that we want to be watching for. But watch this area right here. We've kind of got that double whammy of price resistance here on the chart on the SPY. And although we held our 50 day moving average um, um, solidly and, and pushed right back, just keep in mind the distance between here and there is pretty substantial. And if we were to swing back down, we could see a lot of pain, particularly if you jump in or chase stocks this morning. So watch that closely. And, and once again, I would watch for that possibility, not a for sure, but that possibility that we could experience a gap up in that pop and drop here on the day. Let's also take a look at the QQQ. Now the QQQ has been the strongest and we reacted very, very bullishly to this little price support right here in the chart, pushing right back up, filling the gap of yesterday. But let's keep in mind, we haven't cleared these resistance levels in the chart. And if we run that trend up here, remember we still have that trend break in this chart. So we have that little bit of that double whammy resistance that could be showing up right in this area. And we'll wanna watch that closely. Keep in mind, big tech is running into lots and lots of governmental issues and um, antitrust issues, and that's gonna make it difficult for them to continue to rise unless we can clear some of those problems. Now, we also, we could clear those very easily with just massive earnings reports um, that they will be spinning out um, here next week in a lot of these big techs. So watch closely, who knows, maybe we just continue to reach for the stars here in the NASDAQ, even though we are quite extended um, overall, just take a look at how far we are still extended away from our 50 day moving average. And that adds some danger to the chart and these big swings that we can experience can continue to happen as long as we stay so elevated away from support levels. So just consider that carefully and don't over trade. Let's take a look at our um, IWM. Now IWM had a tremendous bounce back and it was the only one that put in a little bit of bullishness on Monday because it was already in a bit of an oversold condition. But let's keep in mind the IWM has still failed its 50 day moving averages and our, our short term averages are crossing down through and we are starting to roll over in that IWM um, chart. So watch that closely. As we approach back up, just notice that we have a tremendous amount of price congestion right here in this area of the chart. So watch that carefully. Can we continue to surge back up? Certainly we can, but we also run that risk that we could run into that slam into that price resistance area and price congestion and turn back lower. Like I said yesterday, we came so close to that 200 day moving average 
I honestly expect we're going to see that 200 day moving average in um, IWM um, and it could be the index that leads us lower. So watch that close. Then let's take a look at our T2122. This is a, a pretty good representation of the all or nothing market that we're living in right now and why the danger of this market is so high. We swing down here. Remember, it wasn't that many days ago. We swung down here on a 500 point move, got down here toward that bearish re um, resistance zone or that bearish reversal zone. And then we zoomed right back up here in one day to an overbought condition. Um, we surged back down and then kind of held here and then just the floor fell out dropping uh, 900 points in the dow in one day and we reached an extreme oversold position and then all in one day we try to take it all back so we still have a little bit of upside um, area to move here if we can find that bullishness in the market today from earnings or news reports or something like that we certainly could push on higher here um, before we reach that bearish re um, reversal zone. But just keep in mind, we're approaching that really, really fast as this all or nothing market whipsaws pretty hard in here. Now, if we were to find some bearish reason, what we've done here, if if the news kind of supports those bears or those bears reattack, we have created a big opening for a, a downside move as well. So that that reaction back down could be pretty painful or pretty extreme as well. So just kind of keep that in mind. And then if we take a look at our T2101, it's interesting yesterday, we tried to follow through a little bit in that in that short squeeze rally, we tried to follow through to the upside in it, but notice by the end of the day, it just kind of started to flatten out, maybe even roll just a little bit. And that's one of the things we've seen here recently where we just can't seem to garner enough follow through energy to make some of these um, trade patterns work out. And I think if most folks were honest with themselves, they would they would say that this has been a very challenging market. As a matter of fact, there's been a lot of trades, a lot of head fakes, a lot of choppiness in the market. And that may continue here if we if we are unable to follow through with market breadth to the upside, we could once again see that start to falter and, 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 and then uh, that pullback begin again. So watch that carefully and closely. Then let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now, we have a very light economic calendar this week with not a whole lot going on, and that's kind of the buildup of the FOMC to the FOMC meeting next week. Let's take a look. We have the petroleum status numbers uh, coming out today. Unlikely um, in the, with the emotion of the market, that's going to move things tremendously, but we certainly could use a big boost um, in that um, energy sector. It's been faltering pretty heavily here recently, uh, particularly after the OPEC um, news of production increases uh, been faltering quite a bit. So watch that closely. And then we might want to keep in mind, we got a 20 year bond auction today and we know there's been some concern about inflationary increases and things like that. So it might be worthy to pay attention to that at 1 p.m. Eastern today. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar. Now, our earnings calendar is growing and it's getting busier and busier and busier as we move along. We have nearly 70 companies reporting earnings today and um, that will probably will continue to ramp up tomorrow and um, as we get into next week, it just gets absolutely nutty. So if you want to catch the full list of all of the stocks that are notables today, you might want to uh, click that link just below the title of the video, go back to the morning blog, and you can grab that full list that I've marked as, as notable stocks. So let's take a look at a few of those. Uh, Johnson & Johnson, J&J, &J, having a pretty good morning here, popping up this morning. They are expecting two and a half billion doses of COVID vaccine being sold this year. So uh, drug company stocks are doing pretty well. And with rising COVID numbers, um, you could expect that might um, even ramp up even more. So keep a close eye on that. J&J &J, uh, getting some benefit from um, the pandemic here 
as their sales increase. Watch that closely. Um, Coca-Cola reporting earnings today. They're showing some bullishness after their report. You might want to keep an eye on that. This has uh, been quite an interesting pattern. Cupping right in here, nice little handle. And then now we're pirate powering higher this morning here on coca-cola so watch that closely it's looking very bullish this morning after its earnings report you might want to take a keep an eye on um, um, harley davidson harley davidson will be reporting today um, looks like they're getting some bullishness here this morning um, testing this downtrend in the chart watch that closely remember we can hit these downtrend or these uh, price resistance levels and then just reverse you know it's one of those things that i try to teach in right way options how many times do we have to fail along a resistance level like this before we believe it's true and one of the mistakes that i made for years and years and years as a trader is i would chase a stock right into a price resistance level like that buy it thinking this time has to be different and just get beat to death on trades like that so watch that carefully what i would prefer to see is harley davidson break out of that downtrend hold it as support then show me some buyers and then I've got something to trade. So watch those patterns pretty carefully. Um, how about KMI? KMI will be reporting today. It looks like it's trying to edge a little bit higher this morning. Watch these price resistance levels and this downtrend. Honestly, as this rallies back up into this area, this actually sets up a potential short in KMI. How about KMX? KMX, um, had, performed unbelievably strong yesterday notice this massive cup pattern that we have formed here and this handle so if we can continue to find some inspiration in a good strong earnings report then we might actually be able to attack or even break through that resistance high to the upside so watch that closely and uh, last one i'm going to cover here this morning although there's several more that you really should be paying attention to on this list uh, take a look at lvs now with covid coming up new mask restrictions going on in las vegas all of those issues we're seeing um, some travel problems and things cropping up um, las vegas is not looking so good and lvs although we're trying to pop up a little bit this morning tremendous downtrends going on here in the casino stocks be really really careful as we approach those resistance levels we may just see more downside um, in those as we move along um, we've got a ways to go before we catch some major support notice we broke this little support right here We've got some major support down in here, perhaps a little bit lower, and maybe it can turn around. But until then, pretty ugly chart. Not much love here for casinos. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, guys. But before we do that, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. Last night, we just crossed over 22,500 subscribers. So thank you everyone who does subscribe and thank you to everyone who takes the time to click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. That helps those algorithms, that engagement helps those algorithms continue to show these videos to more folks. And I got to tell you, I never in my wildest dreams expected there would be this many people that would appreciate this kind of content. It seems like the majority of the content out there is just full of hype. They want to try and predict the market. And I don't do any of that. As you can see, I just look at those technicals. I want to follow the market, not predict it. I just want to ride the trend. I don't want to be any kind of superhero trader. I want consistency in my trading. And if you guys find that stuff to be useful, please um, leave those brief comments and click those thumbs up buttons. And also click that button to share these videos out there with other folks. That helps us grow as well. So thank you very much. And also thank you very big thank you to all of you folks who have been participating in the channel by clicking um, on that buy me a coffee link right below the title of the video and supporting the channel that way truly truly uh, am honored and uh, appreciate thank you so much everyone who who is supporting this channel let's take a look 
at um, some stock setting up. And before we do that, guys, remember these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Um, you have to be a really, really diligent in your own uh, risk analysis of a trade, and you should never, ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Let's take a look at a couple here. Home Depot. Um, I mentioned Home Depot yesterday, actually, and Home Depot had a nice day yesterday pushing back up. Now, let's take a look at this chart carefully. Um, we've held this price support here in this chart, and although we're doing that, we're struggling right here with this little price resistance. So as we continue this consolidation, maybe we can find enough energy. And you can see this morning we're trying to perk through that resistance here just a little bit in the chart. Now, I'm not going to rule out that possibility in the market that we could have a pop and drop, but keep an eye on this. Home Depot is looking pretty good, and I like this little rising um, rising low that's setting up in here, that possibility that we could push on through here on Home Depot, maybe move on up and attack the highs here in this chart. So watch that closely. Um, a chart that was brought to me yesterday by one of the members of Right Way Options, and okay, um, take a look at NOK, Nokia. Now, Nokia, a little cheapy guy, may not be in your wheelhouse for a trade, and I get that and understand it. And by the way, I, I wouldn't be thinking about this as an option trade. I'd be looking at this as a stock trade because we're so small in here. But take a look at this. We've got these nice rising lows in here. We broke through this price resistance. This is a beautiful, kind of a textbook... Uh, pattern of a uh, price continuation to the upside. So watch that carefully. Nokia looks like it may have some upside opportunity here in that chart. Um, watch that close. Um, another chart that you might want to pay attention to, Peloton. Now, Peloton is one of those COVID worry stocks, and we've just had a tremendous rally here the last couple of days. Now, keep in mind, I wouldn't want to chase this where it is right now, but I want to point out this big big head and shoulders, inverted head and shoulders pattern that's been forming here on uh, Peloton. If we can actually break through this neckline on Peloton and hold up here, watch for that opportunity that this could extend onto the upside to maybe be back up here attacking some of these highs in the chart. Peloton looking good. Take a look at um, Etsy. Etsy is also trying to come back. And again, this was one of those favored stocks and during COVID um, that really um, had a lot of strength. So notice we found this, this higher low in this chart. We've held some price support in that gap and we're trying to push back up. This little downtrend that we have right here, we have bested that downtrend. And so watch for a little rest or consolidation pullback in here and that opportunity that Etsy may continue to move on higher. Watch it close. Um, you might want to take a look at Chewy. Chewy is another one of those COVID worry stocks that had really responded back in a big way. Now, not quite as clean as you would see in, um, in some of the other stocks, but notice that price resistance right in here that's relatively strong and that possibility again here that we've got this bigger head and shoulders pattern. So watch it as it approaches that resistance. If we can find, or the neckline of that head and shoulders, if we can find the energy to pop through, then there may be some more upside here in Chewy. Keep a close eye on that. Now I have to also go back and mention uh, some of the big techs. Um, Microsoft did a really good job of holding price support in here yesterday. Keep a close eye on that. Microsoft's gonna report here on the 27th. Um, there is that possibility that Microsoft could rally toward its earnings in anticipation. So watch that carefully. We have a nice little pattern, that possibility that that could move up. But we also want to notice that this pattern does exist. We have a potential little head and shoulders pattern that exists here on um, Microsoft and I say potential because we still would need that this um, shoulder to finish up over here and see that failure start to occur so as bullish as I am on this there is that little bit of concern that I want everyone to be watching for 
in that chart. Also, we should take a look at Apple. Apple had a tremendous day yesterday. There seemed to be a lot of energy coming back into Apple. Watch that closely. We held this price support and that possibility that after that big push, we could rest here a little bit, make that higher low, continue on higher and keep in mind, on the 27th, we're going to report here on Apple. So watch that closely. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. And if um, you find these videos to be helpful, please make sure and share them and click those thumbs up buttons. And thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. You guys are awesome. I'll see you right back here, bright and early Thursday morning. Have a great day, everyone.